You see, these are the results when you Google the word cooning. You see a variety of different images. Switch my screen so you guys can see. These are a variety of different images you will see for when you Google images for cooning. All right. Various different images. Uh, you see Steve Harvey. Um, <laughs> you see Bill Cosby, who I really think shouldn't really be on there. Um, he's a victim at this point. I mean, he was basically cash traded by white supremacy. Um, just various different people on here, right? That you guys recognize. But you don't see who I think should be the poster child of cooning. Coon train, whatever you want to call it. Coon of the century. Um, actually, I do see him on here. <laughs> but they need, it needs to be more pictures of them. So I take that back. Diamond and Silk, okay? There, there needs to be more pictures. This, They need to be the poster child for the word cooning or the cooning caricature as it is broken down at the racist memorabilia website where it breaks down the etymology of the word cooning and where it comes from. It's the nigger caricature. Um, and I, I, I definitely encourage you guys to visit this site. This is what I, this is the site I reference when it comes to racist white supremacy memorabilia during the Jim Crow era, reconstruction, et cetera, et cetera. Um, but I, I, I wanted to point this out because Clockwork Orange, a.k.a. Donald Trump, retweeted a video that Diamond and Silk posted on their YouTube channel. And, you know, since, like I said, you know, Trump is the face of white supremacy, the face of white identity extremists, um, he is a guy that would only praise people who praises him. I mean, you literally have to pause, lick his balls, okay, for him to like you. Um, and if you don't bow down to him, if you don't, in, uh, in the honorable words, in the honorable words of our brother Benny Siegel, like I keep saying, you, if you don't get down, you better lay down. So that's what he's been doing with this Twitter beef back and forth with him and LeVar Ball. Like I keep saying, LeVar is a household name. That's that's the reason why LeVar was singled out out of three parents because of the UCLA students, three students who have three parents. He only called out LeVar Ball for a thank you, right? So you already know what it is. He called LeVar Ball ungrateful. He compared him to Don King. All right. And Trump used to work with Don King back in the day um, doing boxing events. Pay-per-view, he worked with Evander Holyfield. Um, he worked with uh, George Foreman. And George Foreman was actually head over heels of, of Clockwork Orange back in the day. Um, so he was he still cooning for Trump. But these stepping and fetch it reincarnated women take the cake in terms of cooning on a whole new level. They are just light years of cooning that even makes stepping and fetch it, uh, stepping and fetch it like, wow, you guys have reinvented the wheel. I never saw this clip, but I did see this on uh, Clockwork Orange's timeline. I'm going to play the clip and give you guys my reaction to this video. I know this is going to be cringe. It's going to be cringe worthy. Um, but I'm going to play this clip <laughs> and uh, give you guys my reaction to this video. Um, so here we go. Now, I know you all are getting ready for the Thanksgiving holiday. Mm -hmm. You have the turkey in the oven. By the way, happy holidays to you guys. Um, you know, which are spending time with your family. Listen, again, we know if you're woke, you know the history of Thanksgiving, a.k.a. misgiving, a.k.a. the slaughtering 
of our people. <laughs> okay. Um, it had nothing to do with black people. Just check my older videos and I break down the history of Thanksgiving and all that stuff. Because this was a slaughterhouse. But anyway, I just want to say happy holidays to you guys because the time right now is about spending time with your families. That's what it's all about. But let me continue playing the video. Yeah, you got the ham bacon. Mm -hmm. You got the greens and the candy yams on. Yes, you done already made yeah, the I don't eat ham. Of the pumpkin pie. Uh -huh. And then you get the table set. Yeah. Everybody sit down to have a meal uh -huh. to give thanks. That's right. And then now somebody want to bring up politics. They want to jump off. So... Mm -hmm. What I got to do is tell you all what to say to these people That's right. as soon as they want to jump off. Mm -hmm. You got to come back with this. He's your president. He's your president. I don't give a darn if they start. Okay. I, okay. I probably can't make it through this whole video. I really, I'm trying to. I'm so trying to. I'm just curious to find out. Does anybody. Does any person find these women attractive i'm just curious <laughs> does anybody find these women attractive me personally absolutely not and i want to talk to the guys who do find them attractive and why because i don't know who in the world <laughs> want to acknowledge these damn Oh, I, 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 listen, I just, I, I can't even, I can't even put into words just how hideous they look. Just terrible, man. T just terrible. Their voices are so annoying. But l let me just finish playing the video. It's the reason why Clockwork Orange retweeted, retweeted the YouTube video of them cooning for Donald Trump. Are talking about what happened last week, what he tweeted yesterday. Uh -huh. You come back with, he's your president, he's your president. That's so goddamn annoying. They want to get at the table and start acting stupid and start tripping. Yeah. All you got to do is come back with, he's your president, he's your president. Oh, if they want to talk about his tweet from yesterday. Man, what, oh, what the hell are, are you drinking? Mm -hmm. You just come back with, he's your president, he's your president. Oh, they may try to talk about all of this other stuff that's going on in the world. Yeah. And They bringing all this pop up stuff and you know darn well they don't know how to cook. That's right. They don't have any seasoning in the candy yams. Mm -hmm. They don't they they they, they use that ham hock and the greens yeah. and the greens still didn't turn out right because they didn't do something right. And eggshells are still in the potatoes. Uh -huh. They got to get that food right. They get and it sometimes yeah. stuff can jump off at the table. At the table. And it doesn't even have nothing to do with the president. It's about the potato salad, the yeah. collard greens, and the candy yams. But they on. want to make it about the president. And when they do, and when they do all you do is you holler out, you say. He's your president. He's your president. Oh, yeah, you always come to him. Oh, they don't want to get bothered by it. They don't want to not. They don't want to not. You got to hold yourself back. They don't want to get bothered by hold this. Hold yourself, yourself back. Hold yourself. And then you just sneak and say, he's your president. He's your president. Oh, let him know he's the president of the United States. That's right. Now, see, last year, last year, we put up with the bull. That's right. Last year, yeah. we put up with the sugar honey iced tea. No sugar. But this iced year, no. it is official. Yeah. He's your president. He's your president. Oh, you know what, Sylvia? Yeah. I get so sick and tired of everybody always got something to say. Mm -hmm. And then they try to blame it on our president. Yeah. You bump your tongue, uh -huh. they want to blame it on the president. Blame. You uh, hit your uh, ear, yeah. oh, it's the president. Blame. You ain't got no money in the bank, uh -huh. oh, you want to blame the president. Blame. You done took it, you done, you done burnt the turkey, yeah. now you want to blame the I'm trying to make it through his like. It's two minutes and 46 seconds. I have like two minutes left to endure this. This is torture for me. I'm, I'm, I can't. I, I have to get through this. Though. President. Well, y'all ain't gonna sit at the table yeah. with that BS. No, you're not. Now, we put up with that BS last year, last year. but we're not putting up with this this year. No, we're not. When they come to the table with all of that, yeah. you just reached over and touched them and say, he's your president, he's your president. Deal with it. Right. Or get over it. Mm -hmm. Build yourself 
a little bridge. Yeah. Climb up the ladder huh? and get over it. Uh -huh. He's your president. Yeah. This year, year we're gonna celebrate Thanksgiving. Yeah. And guess what? Why? He's your president. He's your president. Now listen. Don't drink too much. Not too much. You don't have to drink too much. Not too much. Uh -huh. But if somebody want to go there, uh -huh. always come back to the whip. He's your president. He's your president. Happy Thanksgiving, you all. Enjoy the day. Enjoy Don't get day. in no fight. No fight. Let me get my drink back. I'm sorry, that shit trash as hell. Get that I guess that's the outro. That get that shit the fuck out of hit it out of here, man. I couldn't endure that at all. It was uh beyond crazy. I, I couldn't endure that. I, I couldn't. But like I said, this is a modern day minstrel step it and fetch it. Um Step and fetch it, rather. It, it, that's what it is. A modern day minstrel step and fetch it. They're not getting a dime from Trump. Okay. They won't get a dime after they leave this earth. These white supremacists has always been using black people as political pawns. I made a video about why black people are being used as political pawns. You guys should check that out where I break that down. Um, but you see the, 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 the contrast in why Clockwork Orange decided to retweet Step and Fetch It, a.k.a. Diamond and Silk, and praising them versus calling somebody like LeVar Ball Ungrateful, code word for ungrateful nigger, right? If you don't bow down, if you don't lay down to Clockwork Orange's demands, you're considered an ungrateful nigger, right? And we know that's just white supremacy, white identity extremists or extremism, extremism, I should say. Um, it's just an evolving code that they use against us. That's all it is. And so, like, him calling LeVar Ball ungrateful was basically saying to all black people, and anybody classified as black or African American in the United States, right? He's basically saying, if you don't kiss my ass, you're an ungrateful nigger. You better bow down to me. I help you niggers. Look, I I freed three black niggers in China. Even though he had nothing to do with that. It was Jack Ma, who's a 40 billionaire, a 40, uh, the guy's worth $40 billion. He was a UCLA alumni. His influence was much greater than... <laughs> The, um, I should say, fantasized reality that Clockwork Orange lives in. Because he thinks that his power and his influence is something that's critical when it's not. It's not, you know? But Jack Ma was the one that really took care of everything. The guy was a UCLA alumni, and he was a guy that freed, helped free the um, UCLA st uh, players. Um, but yeah, like I said, if you don't if you don't bow down to Trump's demands, you're considered an ungrateful nigger. That means every person classified as black or African American in this country has to bow down to him, because according to Trump, he saved black society. Saved three black players in China from getting arrested for 10 years when that's considered a minor offense. 
people who get who get in trouble or detained for theft in China often get deported. And that is from a local Chinese professor who studies law. So those are facts. But going back to Diamond and Silk, a.k.a. Step in and Fetch It, uh, yeah, these guys, these they, they need to be the poster child for, for coonery, for coon train. They have a lifetime achievement award for um, cooning, if you will. They are just too far gone. Um, they're way beyond the mental disorders, way beyond, you know, cognitive dissonance post-traumatic slavery uh, disorder you know they're way beyond that um uh, all those mental illnesses that i always talk about in my past videos they're way beyond that it's just too far gone and you know in the sunken place they're like below they're like below the abyss they're like in a new plateau of uh just being lost in the sauce you know um but yeah i just it was hard to watch that video it really was and that's what um, Clockwork Oranges, his base, his supporters, they love. They love to see that kind of shit. You know, they, they love that. I just couldn't bear to watch it. It was just terrible. Couldn't bear to watch it. But, um, <laughs> but anyway, family, those are my thoughts on that. Leave your comments down below in the comment section. All right, family. Um, until next time. Chauncey, a.k.a. The Black Separatist, signing out. Peace.